Hey guys, I'm Clint Flair Wheel. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. And guys, if you are new to the channel, then please smash the subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you are notified when I upload my awesome Division 2 videos. Now guys, let's do this. Now, as you can see in the background, this is an OP skill build. I'm run running with the hardwired gear set. When I initially ran this, and I crafted all the pieces and put it together. I was running at about 2k skill power. And I did not see the benefit from rolling with this gear set. I felt it was really underwhelming. But there was that potential to make it absolutely OP. If I could invest in 3k skill power. And do some damage with my skills. And boy, I have. This build is sensational. It is definitely worth the grind. And then, all you need to do is re-roll your pieces to get as much skill power on this build as possible as we will see shortly when I break it down for you guys but as you can see this will shock enemies this will deal some great damage and is a great utility build don't get me wrong the BTSU gloves they will offer raw damage raw power raw healing this is all about a great utility set that will give you your skills back quickly and you can see the damage is decent it's decent damage we're doing this has the ability to offer so much support in any scenario. Solo, it's a good build. In a group, it's a fantastic build. So when you're talking about challenging missions, heroic missions, this is something that you would like on your team to give you as much support. And guys, your teammates will benefit no end from the utility that your build offers. Let's do this. Yes guys, it is Clint Flair Wu and I'm back with another Division 2 video. This is something that I've been toying about for weeks with and this build I've been fine tuning for a long time and now is the time to share this with you. It is my hardwired six piece build, not an exotic pair of gloves in sight. Check it out. So guys, as you can see, it is six piece hardwired. And I'm rolling with the Demolitionist Specialization. And the sole reason is I'm rolling with Seeker Mine. So I do want that extra explosive damage on the build. It helps. And it's something that does me great amount of utility on the build. Now, we'll go through the gear. And then we'll talk about the benefits of this build as we go through it step by step. Now, but firstly, I'm rolling with seven offensive stats. Five defensive stats and six, yeah, six utility stats. So as you can see, this is an all-round jack-of-all-trades build. My armor is 204k, but I don't need any more. My health is 67k, which is okay, it is decent. My skill power is 3059. And that's what I wanted on this build. I didn't care about the armor, I didn't care about the health. I didn't care about the raw DPS I can do. I just want to get that skill power to 3k. And that's where you'll see the benefits. For the simple reason, there is no utility slots on this build. When you roll hardwired, you will have zero utility slots. It's all about offensive slots. And the one thing I'll say now is I only have one assault rifle utility, well, offensive mod. I don't have any more. So if I had more, there will be lit littered on this build. But guys, I'm sure that you do and you have. And if you do, get them on this build and you'll see the damage output will rise significantly. The mask. The mask, again, hardwired. What does hardwired do? So, two-piece gives you 20% skill health. The three-piece is 20% skill damage. Four-piece is 20% skill power. The fifth-piece is tamper-proof. Electrify your deployed skills. Hive, turrets and pulse sensor causing enemies wandering too close to be shocked. And this can occur every 10 seconds. Decent talent to have. And six pieces feedback loop. Killing with a skill resets the cooldown of your other skill. Repairing a friendly agent's armor from zero resets the cooldown of your skills. Can occur, sorry, can only occur every 15 seconds. When a skill cooldown ends or reaches full charges, Gain bonus damage and repair to all skills for 15 seconds. So guys, this is a really good build if you do it right. Now, what you need, as I've said, 3k skill power to ensure that you have the best mods on your build. Because you will see the difference 
once you're rolling in a team it is essential now with this i've opted for two skills i wanted two damage skills in a future video i will do a healing skill to show you the difference and show you how it can proc and how effective the healing is on the build but for this video it's all about the skills and when i say skills i'm on about skill damage now the attributes on the mask skill power and health the key the key on this build you will have six utility slots you need to make sure all six are skill power without shadow of a doubt that's what you need if it's skill haste get it off get skill power on and you will possibly need to get your best skill power drops on your high-end gear and slap it on here like i have more we'll go through the build you'll see how now the second attribute is nine and a half percent health onto the chest piece the chest piece has 421 skill power 14% total armor and 6% critic chance. I've done nothing with this whatsoever. Now, as you can see, I've just chucked on some damage mods. That is it. That is it, guys. I'm sure and I'm confident you will have assault rifle damage mods or you have a good rolled, decent damage dealing LMG. And if you have happy days, you're in a good place. Uh, for me, I don't. And it's a bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. With this, as you can see, um, I have one and a half percent weapon damage on my first mod, one percent weapon damage on the second mod. Again, I love AR damage, but I don't have it, unfortunately. And again, I like the AR because it does the health damage, which is key. The holster, again, it's hardwired and a decent 719 skill power and 27330 health. Uh, weapon damage, damage to armor, and SMG damage. You will see my offensive mods are not great. And the reason being, I don't usually roll with offensive mods whatsoever. Offensive builds, I'm more of a skill build man. So I don't get these bad boys, unfortunately. But again, you do, so you can make this better. Now the knee pads. Knee pads, 270 skill power. Uh, weapon damage, SMG damage, and shotgun damage. The gloves, the gloves are skill power and health of 2.5%. And then the backpack is weapon damage, SMG damage, and AR damage. And I believe I do have a nice AR one. Let's get that equipped, shall we? There you go. That's a little bit extra damage for you. Cool. That is the gear. Now let's talk about the weapons. Weapons ignited on my acre and i'm using that because that synergizes really well with the incinerator turret that will give me the extra 20 percent weapon damage to burning enemies it is really good allegro 10 percent rate of fire protected reload while equipped this weapon grants plus 10 percent bonus armor while, while reloading that gives me an extra 20k armor and i'll take that any day accuracy rounds critic chance and damage to elites my secondary is my G36, that's Perpetuation, Allegro, and Rooted. Rooted will be active every 60 seconds. Uh, while equipped and in cover, all skill damage and healing is increased by 25% for 10 seconds. Your buff is lost when exiting cover can only occur once every 60 seconds. Accuracy rounds, critic chance damage release. Again, the mods are mimicked per AR. And finally, my 93R is Perpetuation. Accurate and in rhythm. While equipped, enemy kills have a 5% chance to refresh. Active skill cooldowns can occur once every 60 seconds. Mods, optimal range and critic chance. As you can see, the weapons are not perfect. Now, they've got the right talents on the talents that I need and I want on this build. So, for example, my 93 yards has got in rhythm. So that 5% chance and I get my skills pack instantly. Now, with hardwired... Again, every 15 seconds, that will happen anyway. So it's just that chance of getting them skills back even quicker. Rooted. You need Rooted. That is a definite one you need on the build. And particularly Reload just gives you a little bit more survivability in challenging and heroic missions. Now, you could have Recharge. That's something that you can have in this build. But however, I've gone for Reload because I like that bit of survivability. So I'm a little bit squishy. Now the skills. Now, with the skills and with hardwired, it is essential, in my opinion, to roll or to make sure you take advantage of the 
five and the six piece talents the five piece obviously the hive the turrets and the pulse sensor will get your enemies to be shocked and that's a good talent and i like it and it does work um, and again it gives you that immense amount of crowd control for you and your team to take out npcs with ease now you can roll whatever you want whatever you want and i will do variations in a future video however i've opted for the incinerator turret uh just to make sure it draws the enemies in they get shocked my teammates take them down like knife through butter it's as simple as that it's really strong now Incinerator turret, a lot of people don't use this, they don't like it, simply because it is a little bit awkward, a little bit haphazard in all fairness, and in terms of the um, damage, it is great, it's got that cone shape, which isn't as great as old school Division 1, where, where Firecrest was absolutely OP, but this is a good alternative, and again, I will show you the assault turret in a future video. Now, the, the actual skill power mods, you can see, they are OP, burn strength, you need that. Skill haste, 94.3%, and damage, 144.6%. These are really good mods. Someone will say, or someone looking at this video will go, your cooldown is shit, your cooldown is no good, You're, uh, this is a crap build. Guys, hardwired, do not focus on skill haste. If you do, you are doing it wrong. You need to focus on skill power to get your skill power at 3k to unlock the relevant mods that you need. So don't worry. Do not worry about skill haste. Now, again, we'll go through the, the six-piece talent, which is killing with a skill, resets the cooldown of your other skill. There you go. You don't need skill haste on this build. Don't worry about it, because the six-piece will do that for you. So, you can see, 21811 burn damage. That's nice. That is really good. Uh, burn duration is 7.8 seconds. Now, my primary skill is the cluster seeker mine now this is 13.8 second cooldown 304k damage again someone will say it will happen i can get 500 you maybe you can sir that's not a problem however this is hardwired and there's no explosive damage on this build at all so 304k damage which is good given the build 10 mines blast radius of four meters skill haste damage and extra mines because they make all the difference the key is you want to get your skills or your seeker mines back quicker so this is like having a skill on a backpack now the more seeker mines that you have the more chance you've got taking an npc down with 10 mines the way you look at it again as a base damage of 304k you can deal some great damage over time seriously it does work extra mines they help npc down you will get that skill back again it works a treat and then you have your incinerator mod uh, which will be there that will just churn away npcs now you could use your assault turret which will go in again in a future video but i wanted to use incinerator turret because not many people use it and i'm showcasing it now and it is great on this build so this is awesome now let's go through, we've gone for the weapons and the gear and the skills. Let's take a look at the stats. Again, nothing to write home about, but the build synergizes like a T. 20% critic chance, 28% critic damage, 55% headshot damage. As you, as you can see, there's nothing to write home about at all. You see the weapon damage is quite low, however, better and better. Defense, a standard 204k armor. 67k health, 20% burn resistance, and that's due to the fact I'm rolling with Demolitionist. And again, for that extra explosive damage of 25%. And as you can see, there's no bonuses on my skills. And that's because there are no skill utility mods here at all. That's hardwired. That's how it works. So this is the build. This is hardwired. What do you think, guys? Is it something that you feel you can run with? It's a grind to get. Is it worth it? I did a 2K hardwired video, and all fairness, underwhelming, underpowered, didn't enjoy it. 3K skill power with hardwired, it's absolutely amazing. It's really, really good. And you are the perfect utility player on your side. Guys, test it. Take it into the DZ, take it into a group, and see how you get on. Uh, but for PvE, this is beastly, it really is. Is it better than the BTSU gloves? 
Possibly not, but as a great, great alternative, you are laughing with this build. Hardwired, big thumbs up from me. And if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. That's awesome. And if you want to, you want to see more Division 2 content, even more Vigor content, remember from the ashes, anything you want to see, guys, let me know. Sub to the channel. Guys, take it easy and peace.